Alright guys, what's going on? I'm going to be talking about remote desktop connections for Windows and this is the default program, you can see that little title up there and I'm doing it with a custom built computer and you're going to need the uh, professional edition of Windows to do this as you see I'm taking control of my Windows XP computer and I'm using Windows 7 Professional and it kind of pretty much adjusted some of the visual effects as you see because I normally would have clear type enabled and once it, you um, log in with the, any computer that you're doing it with like a Windows XP, Windows Vista or 7 when you log in, in with the um, remote desktop it's going to make the other computer go to the login screen and you cannot log back on which is kind of strange if you log back on it's going to kick the program off and you can only use it leave the um, remote desktop program logged on for 30 days if you're so try to adjust it to 99 days just for the heck of it in the advanced settings and you can adjust the color mode to whatever you want it for your internet connection you can adjust like the effects as you see we're going to go ahead and show you something with it what was added from the remote desktop connection window security instead of pressing control like you go to start really really quick like that Sorry for the yawn in there. It's kind of interesting. You can even do lock computer. You see, you're able to take control of that computer while the other and the use the user of the computer that you're using the default remote desktop program they they're not able to log back on while you're in the middle of taking control. Because if you're taking control, if they try to log back on while you're taking control, it can um, kick you off instantly. And I got a newer version of remote desktop connection for XP, as you see. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate what you can do. You can just that's something, yeah. you can adjust the resolution to whatever you want in the color mode. The maximum it can use is 16 bit. And you can bring sound to in the microphone settings. You can able to play the sound from that computer to yours and the microphone settings. You're able to use printers and share items with the clipboard. You could have a program shot you can adjust the experience for your own visual of computer's visual effects. You got your connection settings. Which I don't want. We don't want to fool with that. The only way you gotta have it enabled is go to the system properties and go to where it says remote. Make sure remote assistance is enabled, and you can select the users if you need. And you gotta make sure your firewall allows you to do it. Since I'm using the default remote desktop program, and I can even go on to take control of this compu of that computer while I'm logged in I can even mess around on the internet like let's see if we can go to the about box of the of the browser yeah we can go ahead and close out of that you can do all kind of stuff that see what programs we have. These are all the programs I use on that computer. I got a few Microsoft Power Toys. I got Tweak UI, which is pretty cool. You can adjust see it just remove the IE off the desktop. You because if you install Service Pack 3, you won't be able to do a lot. Show to have the Internet Explorer icon from Display Properties. I think Microsoft removed it due to that court ruling back in 2004 when they were doing separate versions of Win when they were forced to make separate versions of Windows XP. I have the mouse speed it. 
And it's pretty nice, this little Tweak UI program. You're able to rebuild icons. And you know, corrupt it like for. And then just made it look like Windows 2000 for some odd reason. kind of does that when you're using Windows FLP. And this is the highest color mode you're able to do. You can't adjust, you can't, you're not able to adjust the screen resolution from where you're at. You can't, you're not able to enable clear type. So let's play with the Let's see how Windows Classic looks with the remote desktop enabled. And we can disable some programs while we're playing around with remote desktop connection. Oh lord, it looks like Windows two thousand and two fifty six colors. That's usually that's how it usually would look when you're in with Windows FLP. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back to the settings it was on. So I'm gonna go ahead and close on out of that. So we can disconnect from that session. And that was a little demonstration of remote desktop connection for Windows and like, comment, and let me know what you guys think. So talk to you guys later and thanks for watching.